So, if it was Team Edward versus Lo, I hate to say it, but I would be Team Lo. Hello, book besties, and welcome or welcome back to Chanel's Chapters. So today we have something very exciting and we are doing the mid-year book tag. I literally cannot believe that we are already halfway through the year. I feel like this year just went by so fast, but I guess the year just really flies by when you're reading a good book and when you have a toddler. <laughs> I also wanted to give a shout out to the person that I got this inspiration from and I also used her questions. She is Katie Whitruck. Um, I believe that's how you say her last name but I'm gonna have her video down in the comments so you guys can go check her out. I'll also have all the questions down in the comments as well if you ever want to try it out too so grab your coffee or your water and let's get started so question number one is what is the best book that i've read so far this year and as an indecisive girly it was so hard to pick just one but i would have to say false start by candy steiner I read this book a couple weeks ago and I gave it six plus stars, which I have never given a book six plus stars before, but it had all my favorite tropes and it was just executed perfectly. So you had fake dating, single mom, who hurt you, one bed, he falls first. <laughs> I'd also love to hear your favorite reads in the comments down below. Let me know, I need more books, especially to fill up this space. <laughs> Question number two is the best sequel that I have read this year. It probably comes to no surprise because it is Air of Fire by Sarah J. Mass. So the Throne of Glass series is the only series that I have continued this year. So this one is my favorite. I loved all the new characters that we got to meet. I loved following Selena's story even more. And honestly, I'm confused why it took me so long <laughs> to read these books. Even though there are eight books in this series, which is why it stopped me. They're, they're beautiful. I think, honestly, I feel like these might be better than Actar. I don't know how to describe it. I did <laughs> buy a shirt because of this book. It says Rowan on it. I am a kale girly. I think I might stay a kale, kale girly. But Rowan? Rowan. <laughs> He's up there. <laughs> Question number three is a new release that I haven't read yet, but am excited to pick up. So the first one that comes to mind is Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. This is my this month's this month's book club pick and it is going to be my first Abby Jimenez book. So I'm very excited. I've heard nothing but good things about her writing style. So yeah, I'm excited to see what the hype is about her writing. <laughs> Besides that, I would say Leather and Lark. And I know if you guys watch my first ever video, you know that Butcher and Blackbird was a three star read for me. Even though it was a three star, I am still excited because I don't know, I just have a feeling like the second book might be better for me personally. She's posted a lot of like blurbs that I've been really <laughs> excited for. The last new release that I am excited to read is Forbidden Game by Madison Fox. I absolutely loved Good Game, which was my favorite read of last year. And I'm excited to continue the series. I did, I bought it on my Kindle. I just haven't officially started reading it yet so i'm <laughs> excited for that question number four is my first most anticipated uh read for the other half of the year and i had to do some research because i don't i don't really stay up to tabs on new releases like months in advance i kind of find out whenever it comes up on like youtube or um bookstagram but I have a couple in mind. 
So the first one that I can think of is Walk Off Wedding by Maren Moore. This is a part of the Orleans University series and I, I read Catching Feelings which I fell in love. I immediately fell in love with Maren Moore's writing. So imagine my surprise when she said that the third book in the series is coming out this year and it has corgis! Which if you know, I am obsessed with corgis. I love corgis. I think they're so cute. But she said there's going to be a cute fat corgi in that book and that there are don't touch my wife type of vibes and it is a slow burn which is my personal favorite the second book is mending me by rebecca writes i found out about this book on bookstagram and it is a ex-military shy biker as in like motorcycle then the female main character she reads and i guess he like pays attention so i'm feeling like he might read the books that she reads i'm not 100 percent sure on that she said that there's the fat the found family trope in there which is another one of my favorites and the last anticipated read for the other half of this year is our little secret by qb tyler she's been posting so many blurbs about this book that i i have a feeling this is gonna be a good one it's a billionaire office romance with an age gap what about you guys are you guys waiting for any new releases for the second half of this year let me know maybe i need to add them to my tbr question number five is what is a favorite new author whether it be debut or just new to me and i have a list i cannot pick just one it is so hard but i have candy steiner anna wong ali hazelwood kennedy ryan and Marin Moore. Question number six. What is my newest fictional crush? <gasps> oh my goodness, I love this question. Um, I think. The first one that comes to mind is Lo from Bride. Listen, if it was Team Edward versus Lo, I hate to say it, but I would be Team Lo. Even though I love Edward, I literally have a team edward shirt <laughs> i would i would switch sides for low he has like my wife vibes and i don't know how to explain it i just i just loved him so much <laughs> the second one that came to mind once again i can't put into words but it was ford grant from a wild love need i say more when i tell you this man is so fine when I tell you this man is scrump dilly -icious. Last one is Reese from Catching Feelings. He is super caring, patient. His love language is buying gifts. And he had endless puns throughout the book just to make her happy. But he also listens to Taylor Swift need i say more question number seven is what is a book that made me cry listen i have not read a book yet that has made me cry i want to i really do and false start came close it came close my eyes were getting watery but a tear did not fall down. If you have any recs that made you cry, please let me know because I literally cry for anything and everything. It's just a book hasn't made me cry yet. Question number eight. What is a book that made me happy? And this was so easy. It was Out on a Limb by Hannah Bonham Young. So this book just felt like a nice warm hug. It was so precious. I absolutely loved a bow. He is the most perfect golden retriever boyfriend. If you haven't read it and you love a golden retriever boyfriend, he's the one for you. Question number nine is what is the most beautiful book that I bought this year? The most beautiful book that I bought this year is definitely The Veiled Kingdom. 
I ordered this from her website because I wanted the gold foiling. Like, look how beautiful that is. <laughs> also has pictures, which helps for people like me that cannot imagine or see movies when they read. <laughs> Question number 10 is what books do you need to read by the end of this year? I have so many. I could basically say my entire bookshelf because that is one of the goals. I don't have a specific book that I need to read. I just would love to read a lot of the books that I already own. Question 11 is what is my favorite author so far this year? You probably already know but it is Kennedy Ryan. I love the way she writes realistic characters with realistic problems and just the way she writes is beautiful magical once again i could literally read her shopping list and i love it question number two what are books that you have been putting off and that is so easy to answer because it is all the emily henry books that i own there's just so much hype around her books that i am terrified <laughs> i am scared Question number 13, a book that you loved with mixed reviews. I have three books for this one. Once again, cannot just pick one. And two of them I've already talked about. We have Wild Love by Elsie Silver. I think a lot of people um, thought this was a cowboy romance, me included, and were shocked to find out that it wasn't. It is still small town. And a lot of people thought her writing was somewhat different and I would agree, but I feel like it's just one of the cases where the more you write, like the better you get. And I feel like that happened. I still love her. I still love all her books. This was one of them. The second one that comes to mind was Bride by Allie Hazelwood. I loved it. It was my first Ellie Hazelwood book. It was her first paranormal romance and I think she did an amazing job. I feel like you could definitely tell that she really enjoyed writing it like while you were reading and I really hope that she makes this a series. <laughs> that would be great because I need more. The third book that comes to mind I do not own physically but it is Where's Molly? by H.D. Carlton. It was my favorite out of all the books in like the cat and mouse world. It is also the only book that I have read by H.D. Carlton that I have given five stars. Question number 14, what is a series that I want to finish by the end of the year? And this comes to no surprise again, basically the Throne of Glass series. That is my goal for this entire year is to finish that series. If you've read it, please let me know down below. If you haven't read it yet, I highly recommend even though I haven't finished it yet. I honestly don't know why it took me so long to, to start it. I mean I, I mean, I could tell you why, but I'm just like, why? why i have five books left if i finish at least one book a month i could do it i can do it i believe in myself question number 15 what are my five star predictions for the rest of the year i believe just for the summer by abby jimenez is going to be a five star read everyone i know even my book bestie that i have pretty similar tastes with she gave this book five stars so i'm hoping cross my fingers hoping that this is going to be a five star for me and then walk off wedding by Mar marin moore i absolutely loved catching feelings i gave that one five stars so i feel like i will give walk off wedding the same rating hopefully I hope that I will come back and tell y'all that <laughs> it was. And the last question, do you think you will meet your reading goal by the end of this year? And yes, <laughs> I am 80% through my reading. I've met my reading goal. I'm 80% in. 
I have read 40 out of 50 books. I 100% believe that I can reach it by the end of this year. I've never met my reading goal ever. <laughs> And there you have it. That is my mid-year book tag. Besties, thank you so much for watching and listening to me go on and on about some of my favorite books. And I can't wait to hear about some of yours in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more bookish content. I love you guys and happy reading.